the, the follow-up to this is this, is you were talking about double standards just a minute ago, okay? So when a man and a woman get together into, in some kind of relationship, men, when they are trying to get with a girl, they're the ones who have to sell themselves because of performance. We have to be the ones who can qualify. We have to look good. We have to have a, a good job. We have to be funny. We, I mean, you think about all the criteria that men have to have to actually get in a woman's pants, much less have a relationship with that woman. Men have to sell themselves on performance. Women, on the other hand, advertise themselves on the sexual marketplace. So whether that's Instagram or that's OnlyFans or however you're doing it, women are the advertisers Men are the ones who are the salesmen. We're the pitchmen. We're trying to get you to, to accept us as an intimate, okay? So, and then some of them, some of us have a much easier time of this. Other guys have to actually work their asses, have to ask, work their asses off to do that, right? So, for when the you, record, I work my ass off. Yeah, you do, you do work, you your, do ass work your ass off. So, you know, he's so, trying to say you're too so good. So, when you, when you get into a relationship, the, if it's closed on her end and closed on your end, what that means is that that guy can no longer sell himself on the sexual marketplace. He can't pitch himself because he would be a cheater, right? If he's trying to go get with a waitress and you're in a relationship and he's trying to, he's flirting with her and trying to promote himself to get, to, to sell his sexuality to that person, we call that cheating. But yet when women still advertise themselves on OnlyFans, on Instagram, we don't have a problem with that. Or women say it's my, my only source of income or whatever, and that's the, that's the hard part of this is we've attached that advertising to women's revenue streams right now. But we, it's okay for men, or for, for us to call men who would uh, advertise themselves in a relationship, we, or uh, pitch themselves in a relationship, we call them cheaters. But we don't say the same thing for women who are advertising themselves, ad, that's why I was saying, advertise themselves once they are in that relationship. If it is closed on his end and closed on her end, it should occur to you to say, I'm gonna take all my, I'm gonna stop advertising my, my sexy ass. I'm not saying, you know, delete your Instagram, but take down the thong pictures, take down the sexualized pictures so that there is no, um, there's no confusion. Do you guys know what a soft launch is? Somebody knows what a soft launch is. Soft launch is when women have a, a new boyfriend and they don't show the boyfriend immediately, they'll show like hands together or they'll show like the feet on the beach or some shit like that. Because women know that they will lose market share on their advertising if they show a guy and suddenly that, avail that, that promise, that fantasy of availability goes away. The reason why women get upset about that is because they're still advertising from within a relationship where the guy has stopped, but the woman has not stopped advertising. Okay, two things. Mm -hmm. What you just said, the last part, advertising in two different ways. In terms of advertising on OnlyFans, yes, 100%. If I was dating a guy, I don't know if I would advertise it because that would affect my business. Mm -hmm. But not every woman, most women are not on OnlyFans. Are you saying that like they wouldn't show hands because they still want to monkey branch and for men to pursue them? It's nothing to do with monkey branching. What it, what it has to do is the perception of your availability is limited. It is curtailed by having a, the boyfriend in the, the shots and the photos with you. For example, there was a series of photos of, and I don't know the name, sorry, but the, uh, the uh, professional soccer players with their wives and their girlfriends. And you look at their Instagram, they're on the same beach and the same vacation. No nudes. No, no nudes. No nudes, no nothing. No and you go and you look at, at their girlfriends or their wives' Instagram, and same beach, just the girl that's all alone sitting in the surf and, and, uh, and looking sexy. If you look at like, so was it Aisha Curry and, and Stephen Curry? Like she still wants to, even after she's with Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, for example. Steph, 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 Stephen Curry. He signed a, a deal for $500 yeah, million. And she still wants, she's on Red Table Talk wanting to uh, still say, hey, I want to be on, on Instagram. I still want to advertise myself. I still want to be, I still want other men to find me sexy. That's what I mean by advertising. It's not necessarily like the, I mean, the OnlyFans thing, yeah, you're advertising yourself sexually when you do that, but it's not just that, and it's not just, um, it's not just like the, the soft launch, it is the fact that you are still there advertising while you would have a, a, a conniption fit if the guy was out there flirting with the waitress, because he's, he's following his sexual imperatives while I he think, has to curtail his and you're not. I think I have something good to say with this. If that's not, not a that, double standard, I don't know what it is. Not that, um, 